Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is a really important video for me to make, and uh, I admit it, I caved in and I decided that I would go ahead and follow about well, at least four or five people that I know personally who have decided to take the plunge and buy the George Harrison Uber edition the big box crate and all its stuff inside. Some people think that you're paying for a, a box. It's not just the box, it's everything that's inside the box. But I put a video up several videos ago, several days ago now, when the announcement first came out about the, all the different versions of the George Harrison All Things Must Pass 50th Anniversary. And I pretty much laced into the Harrisons, the Harrison estate, uh, saying how I really felt that uh, the price was ridiculous. I think I used the word ludicrous uh, for this Uber edition. And I, I want you to know at the beginning that I stand by that. Just because I'm buying it doesn't mean that I think it's reasonable. I don't take back anything that I said. I think it's highway robbery. Uh, I think that uh, the asking price of $1,000 is insane, and if you're just crazy enough to pay it, more power to you, but I think something like this is all a matter of how much it means to you financially, like uh, George wrote a song, you know, it's what you value, how much do you value this, I'll say. I know that wasn't his intent in the song, but I thought of that title. Um, I don't know. I could see paying $400, $500, you know, something like that. But uh, I thought that what I would do here is explain to you the reason, the reasoning that I actually came to as to why I decided to go ahead and order this. Now, some people are going to say, oh, there he goes, me, Mr. Mayo. He talks a good game. He says he's not going to buy this. And we knew he was going to get it. We knew he was going to fold like a cheap camera and go ahead and buy it. Well, first, I have to tell you, I just want to make things official. I, I always like things to be the truth. The truth is plenty of times I say I'm not going to get something and I stick to it. So this is an exception to the rule. Uh, and I'll address a lot more, more of this as I go on. Um, I want to say from the beginning that there's a video that's out. I want you to check it out. It's by my friend Matthew Street. Matthew Street has a channel. And he made a really, really fun video about him getting one of these boxes from the Harrison estate. Okay, and I'll leave it at that. I loved that video. I watched that video, and I thought it was really a good time. Let's put it that way. I thought it was really entertaining, and I think it's one of my favorite videos I've ever seen on YouTube. And I say that because later on in this video, I'm going to maybe call out some people that have, you know, kind of been nasty about this, but please know, I say this to Matthew, and I say it to you people out there, I'm not... <laughs> in any way even thinking of his video as part of this okay and that's something else but yeah uh people are gonna say and i know they're gonna say they, they know me uh some of my viewers by now i've been doing this for nine years and some of my viewers will say things i know like you know you don't need to defend your decision joe uh you don't have to justify yourself to anybody you, you know you changed your mind you want to do this it's your money you don't have to explain anything. But the thing with me is, of course, I know I don't have to. I don't have to answer to anybody or explain anything. But the way I am is I, I, I like to be honest. I like to fill my viewers in on why I chose to break down and order this Uber box set of George Harrison's All Things Must Pass. I think I owe it to them. And that's just the way I am. You know, I come clean. That's it. Yeah. OK. This time, this time I said, no, I don't think so. Although if you watched the original video, I did say I'd like to have it, and I thought of a few options and stuff. So, now that that's covered, I, I do think in some cases, uh, not everybody, certainly not everybody, but in some cases, from things I've read in certain comments on my videos and other people's videos, I think some people are jealous. I think some, some people are just downright jealous. They wish they could afford this, and I, I get that. I get that. Um, 
I, I know there's there are some people who feel that if you're doing what I did, if you go ahead and you buy this big, giant, expensive edition of, of the album, what you're doing is you're feeding into more of this because it, if people keep buying it, they'll keep making them like this and they'll keep inflating the prices. They'll gouge people. I get it. I get it. But I'm not going to deprive myself of something that I really like for any reason. Uh... You know, that's your problem. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I I heard comments made like, uh, only the wealthy can afford this, or completists who are obsessed and have to have everything. Well, I want to say something. I'm neither one of those things. First of all, I'm not wealthy. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not wealthy, okay? Uh, I don't have a lot of money. I'm not rich. And as far as the completists who are obsessed and have to have everything, well, I can be obsessed at times, sure, but as far as having to have everything, that doesn't apply to me either because I can go on forever telling you things that I rejected. Uh, do I have to do that? No, but, I, but I'll name a few. I mean, just sticking with George Harrison because that's what this is about. Um, there was a box of LPs a few years ago. It was $400 a box. The box was nice, but it was his LP reissues. I, I didn't buy that. I didn't break down and buy that. They said I wasn't going to, and I stuck to it. Uh, there was a CD box. Uh, I think it was called the Apple Years or something, a CD collection of George's uh, remastered works, and I didn't buy that either. Said I wasn't going to buy it, stuck to it. I think there was a George Harrison record player. <coughs> didn't buy that. Uh, Want to move on to Paul McCartney uh, for his Egypt Station album. He had a suitcase. A suitcase that was a, a traveler's a suitcase that had like all kinds of trinkets and odds and ends in there for 400 bucks. Didn't buy it. It was a $600 giant size, I think it was $600 edition of Flaming Pie. Uh, you know, the archive giant edition. It's almost as tall as I am. Didn't buy it. Ringo Starr put out a, a book, 30 Years of the All Star Band. One of them was signed for like $400. One of them was unsigned for like 40 bucks. I skipped the signed copy. I bought just a plain cheap book. The reason I mention that again is so, 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 you know, a nice try, but that's not the case. Now, the way I decided to uh, approach this is, remember David Letterman? Some of you might know the Letterman show. You know, the old host, David Letterman. He's not around anymore doing it. But uh, he used to have a top 10. The Letterman Top 10. I don't have 10 here, but I have 8. So we'll call it uh, Mayo's 8, okay? This is um, Mr. Mayo's 8 reasons that I decided to go ahead, more or less these reasons, and splurge for this Uber edition of the big crate with all its gifts in there and everything. <laughs> if only it was a gift, if only it was free. All right, we'll start with number 8. Number eight, bringing up the career. All Things Must Pass is an iconic album. It's often considered even the number one solo Beatles album. Of all the solo Beatles albums, by the four of them, uh, All Things Must Pass is often considered the best. And uh, sometimes I'm inclined to agree. So this is an iconic album that deserves such treatment. If anything's going to get a treatment like this uh, by George Harrison, it wouldn't be Gone Trapo, you know, or something like that, or Extra Texture, it would be All Things Must Pass. It's it, it's a great album, so it, it deserves this, in my opinion. Okay, number seven. Uh, it's fun to further annoy the people who have been berating and judging the fans who are purchasing the Uber Edition box. You know, these people crack me up, because everybody's got their weaknesses, everybody's got their interests, uh, these same people are probably spending $1,000 a month, every month, you know, buying cigarettes, booze, pot, or some other vice. Maybe they gamble or whatever. So don't, 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 don't talk to us about enjoying an Uber box set one-time thing to celebrate this masterful album. Okay, it'd be fun to, to tweak it by getting it. I'm just throwing that in. Just throw that in for fun. You know, it's not really that much of an issue as to why, why I made my decision. Number six, my girlfriend. And let me tell you, I am blessed, blessed to have this girlfriend. 
because she is always supportive and she has constantly been encouraging me. You got to get that big crate. You got to get the big set. Uh, I said, no, nah, you know, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, no, no, do it. Do it. You have to have it. And she's always, always encouraging me. Some people say, oh, you know, I, I have to have the, I don't, if you don't have the nerve to show this to, to your wife and tell your wife you spent the money on this, then you shouldn't get it. Well, you know, my, my girlfriend and I have been together nine years, uh, ten years, uh, excuse me, ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> nine years is how long I've been doing my channel. Ten years is how long we've been together. I'm good with dates. But anyway, ten years and, you know, we're very, very much uh, supportive of one another. And she loves everything that I do. And she, she convinced me too. Yeah, you need this. Do it. So, uh, that was number six. Number five... I realized that when the John Lennon Plastic Ono Band set came out it's a few months ago now, um, I saved over two hundred dollars on it. I mean, I must have saved. When I say over two hundred dollars, it must be two fifty. I don't remember what the value is. About two hundred fifty or more, maybe, on the John Lennon Plastic Ono Band Special Edition because the Lennons, uh, Sean Lennon, Yoko, uh, Yoko Ono, Lennon, they were nice enough to give me a complimentary copy of the box set of CDs and also uh, a couple of uh, two vinyl set, I think it was. Um, so right there, I thought to myself, well, that's money that I saved. I saved that money on the John Lennon Plastic Ono band. So that could, you could figure mentally that goes over here to the George set. It's number five. Number four, you know, I make YouTube videos and uh, these YouTube videos, let's say they somewhat uh, help somewhat to help fund this hobby, you know. So the YouTube itself kind of pays dividends and kind of like uh, just gets recycled into the collection. So you got to consider that too. Well, I have to consider that too. Uh, number three, and here's we're getting more important now. Number three, I, I found a source. Uh, I was recommended by a friend of mine, uh, a source, a place called I'll Tell You Too. Uh, it was a website that I never heard of called Sound of Vinyl. And Sound of Vinyl has uh, an opportunity for you to save some money on this set. Uh, there's a code. You, you'll find that when you go on there. I didn't know all the details, but the, when you, if you want to do this and go on the Sound of Vinyl uh, website, it'll tell you how to put the code in and what the code is and save it and everything. Bottom line is uh, I wound up not paying $1,000. I looked on the George Harrison site, and to get this Uber set, that's $1,000, plus the shipping and handling and all that and taxes, it came out to like over $1,200. I would have had to pay $1,200. So by doing this, by going to the Sound of Vinyl uh, site, which is where I chose and putting one of the codes in, I got it for $900. So I got the, I saved three hundred dollars. So I'm not getting this set for one thousand dollars plus another two hundred dollars shipping and handling and tax. No, I'm getting this for nine hundred dollars all flat being included. Is that is that a lot of money? It sure as hell is. I mean, it's not saying it's cheap. It's not cheap, but I rather spend nine hundred dollars and twelve. So all these things factored in, and I'm very glad to say that I got it for that low of a price. So, that was number four. Oh, number three, I'm sorry. Number three. Uh, number two, you know, I said this in my other video that I made when I first mentioned this set. Uh, I come to the conclusion, I have a credit card. I could put this $900. To be honest with you, it's 909 Okay? Magic number. One after 909 in the Beatles cycle. It's 909 is what it cost me for this everything. And I'll just pay... As much as I can for three months, four months. I could pay it off in three months. Right? No problem. Three or four months. You know, if I want if I want to go a little less every month, five months. No big deal. I'll pay in installments. Not, not an issue. I don't even feel it that way. I can't just I don't feel right now that I could just take nine hundred or a grand boom like that. But over a few months, no problem. That's number two. And finally, folks, number one. The number one reason why I decided to take the plunge for this Harrison Uber set. Life is just too short, folks. Life is too short not to splurge. Treat yourself. 
once in a while and to have fun acquiring something that makes you happy and that you like and you can enjoy this life with and have a good time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope some of you, I'm sure not all of you, I respect those of you who just don't have the money. I respect that. No way can you make ends meet. Otherwise, um, I respect you, people. But I hope this video will encourage some of you on the fence to think, you know, you're right, I can find ways around this, and I think I can justify it. And believe me, even though I included a funny thumbnail picture for this video of me eating cat food, <laughs> I'm not eating cat food, folks. There's no need for that. I thought it'd be funny. Thanks, everybody. Take care.